Old school, new school. Neighborhood or hipster apocalypse, or both. Another side of town, another country heard from. So why am I in a Thai restaurant with a Chinese dude? That's, That's a good question. Right? That's a good question. What is authentic? Does it exist? Should white guys get famous and successful cooking the traditional cuisine of poor ethnic groups from the other side of the world? Restaurateur provocateur Eddie Wong thinks no. I'm always curious about gringo chefs doing Asian food, especially gringo chefs that win James Beard Awards doing Asian food. Right, because they probably suck. They probably suck. That's what you're thinking. Yeah. You're coming out here thinking, I really would like this place to suck. I, I want it to suck. Yeah. But eat at Pok Pok in the Columbia Street waterfront district, and it's hard to be sure about anything anymore. Then I ate it, and it's, it's mind-blowing. In his ridiculously, righteously successful restaurant, Delicious. Portland chef Andy Ricker is serving up what I think is simply the best, the tastiest, and most, quote, unquote, authentic. Is this a restaurant? It's like a shed. Yeah. He wants to replicate, like, a Thai shed. Northern Thai flavors I've ever had outside of Thailand. And he specializes northern Thai food. Like, most of what we get is, uh, in America, southern Thai. I think people think of Thailand as, like, food from an entire country. They all eat the same thing. It's region. We're, it's we're from that country, food. Asia. <laughs> Yeah, it's for that country, Asia. Do the beers. He's got this jelly beer thing. He puts beer on the ice and shakes right. it, and then it makes it beer into, like, gelatin. It's kind of dope. Kayang is hen, stuffed and seasoned with lemongrass, garlic, pepper, and cilantro, then rotisserie. Mm. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow. Yep. Pie salad's nice and spicy for you today. Spicy green papaya salad prepared in the traditional mortar and pestle from which the restaurant derives its name, the Pok Pok. Wow. It's a perfect amount of, like, uh, sweet and pain. Mm -hmm. Of your pork rack here. All right. This is the star of the show. Mu Kam Wan. Pork neck rubbed with garlic, coriander root, and black pepper. Grilled and served with spicy chili, lime, and garlic sauce. Chilled mustard greens are to serve as a counterpoint Ooh. to the pork neck. It's chilled, it's a little bitter. Wow. Very fresh. Awesome, right? Savory, sweet, salty, smoky, sour, spicy. You know what the problem is here? The service is too polite. There's, I would like, like some dogs or cats wandering around on the floor, and I need a roll of toilet paper here. You know, there's a suspicious funk element to a lot of the really delicious food that you eat in Thailand that comes with food sitting out, squawny roosters. Yeah. Most of them is going to be delicious. They don't have the luxury of ingredients like this. This is awesome. Lab Muang. Spicy hand-minced pork mixed with aromatics, spices, herbs, cracklings, and crispy shallots. Andy got this recipe off an 84-year-old Thai dude who specialized in such things. Andy doesn't like when I mix a sticky rice, but this is, this is the Chinese thing to do. This is awesome, right? Eat this and you understand why people line up for hours waiting to get in here. It's like perfect. Yeah, exactly. Correct me if I'm wrong. No. It's perfect. And why it's always mobbed. That was the thing. I came here wanting to hate this <laughs> and I love him. Hey, Eddie. What's up, dude? How's, How's it going? It going? Guys? How's the meal? It was perfect. It was. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Did it you was. eat some of these freaky greens over here? Yeah. Delicious. Of all of the reasonable things you could do in this world, why would you embrace a cuisine that just about every Western guy who ever tried to get it right completely f***ed up? Well, I didn't set out to do this. So you weren't a chef that just needed a second restaurant? No, I mean, I was, I was a cook on vacation when I first started going to Thailand. And I'd had Thai food in America. But then I had this, and I thought, my god, this doesn't taste like Thai food. Did I know yeah. Thai food? I've had a lot of Thai meals in the Western world. Nothing's approached this. To me, awesome. th this is the kind of food that people eat normally every day. This is like peasant food, really. I think the tendency for most Western chefs is they want to take the food that's never meant to become fancy and make it somehow elevated. And this food is meant to be eaten like this, on plastic plates, on a plastic tablecloth. My fear is to take something that's already really good and turn it into something that it's not.